It's about to go down. Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Bolo Biggs, aka the overweight love and heavy B. Uh, I'm doing my intro backwards, sorry guys. Anyways, so after last episode, you guys saw I failed my walkthrough miserably. Uh, after all that shit I was talking about, sealing up the bus. Um, just gonna jump right to it so that you guys can see. I addressed part of my uh, leak issues because um, I ran out of time. But uh, I hope you guys are able to get some uh, some good tips out of it. Um, here we go. Okay guys, so before I move forward, fill my uh, water leak test. I am taking in water with my rub rails um, where the screws are and up here underneath the window uh, with these screws. So normally when you remove that um, aluminum wall there, um, if you can see where I've cut it, that section there, so it actually folds underneath the window. It folds underneath the window and uh, and then it flaps on the outside and then it's held in by screws. Well, when doing my walkthrough, I noticed that the screws on the back side were pretty in bad shape and it allowed water to run inside. As you can see here, the watermark. So it's actually penetrating the screw getting behind it and going inside the bus. Um, look at the shape of this screw. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty bad, guys. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing is going around the entire bus where I believe there are issues and I'm just gonna remove one screw at a time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in sections so nothing falls apart on me. Um, as you guys know, whenever I replace a screw, which I'm doing with uh, stainless steel screws, um, I might go up in size, just give it a night fit, seal. I always dip my screws. Any screws I remove, I always dip them in cock. Um, the cock I use is the quads, um, the ones that you guys see me use. And then I put it back. That way it's a nice seal, it's waterproof. And then at some point, before I get started on the interior, I'm going to hit it with, um, with more cock on the back side. Pretty much cut my tube bigger, just slide it onto the screw, squeeze it. Um, I shouldn't have to do anything else with it and that'll give it some good protection. Another issue I have where it folds, well, there's a nice gap in between there. And on the other side of the bus, if you push on that gap, you can feel an air pocket. Now, I'm not sure if you guys notice, but sometimes if you have a small enough lip, water will travel upwards slightly and build up. And that's the problem I was having um, on the inside, especially along that wall. I was still getting water. Um, I think that day the rain was coming from from uh, from that, from that the driver's side of the bus. That's why I took in so much water. Um, this is the other side. Again, my screws are kind of damaged on the inside. But this, you see that little, I'm not, let me try not to move the camera. See how it's giving? Well, the water will build up travel upwards a little bit and build up some more and then get into the bus that's one of my leaks um, issues that I'm addressing if you guys can actually see the entire bus every rivet every screw above the window I've actually hit with cock I'm gonna do a second application on those just to reassure myself and then I'll, I'll eventually put on the Henry's tropical cool I'm gonna try to do this with one hand guys just so I can let y'all have some video. I'm just gonna hit it with my um, palm sander. I'm actually using, I think it's either uh, 220 grit or 320. I don't wanna peel the heck out of my aluminum because there's not much there. I just wanna get the surface to get the corrosion out and uh, smooth it down also. You guys can see it's pretty smooth but i, I want to get it just to get the chips out um but i just want to let you guys see a general idea of what i was doing now my goal isn't to get down to that yellow again 
or even see aluminum it's just to get rid of that surface oh, spirit. that's where i want it guys um i but i had already sand down that bar all the way down but i was working around the screws because i didn't think i needed to um so that's why i've only addressed the screw areas so i'm just gonna wipe it down and then um i'll dip it dip my new screws put it in i'm gonna address this here too i'm gonna caulk around that caulk around that and any uh areas that i miss now this rivets i can't get out so i may just caulk around that little circle there but these other ones i'm gonna hit and take those out and just put new ones in actually uh starting to rain on me i want to get as many of these done as possible because it's supposed to be 70 degrees tomorrow so all i did was just tape it up with painters tape um now this is the paper like material one so that's easy to take off um but i'm gonna go ahead and do these and then i'm gonna do the other side um i figure i could sand while it's sprinkling on me i don't want to mess up my uh cock um, if I apply it on there, you can actually see, look, when I took this one out, water started coming out. So it is getting trapped in there, guys. My tape up, guys. It's really starting to, um, to rain now where my tape's not going to stick. So let me get inside. Like I said, it's going to be 80, 70 degrees tomorrow. 71, actually. Guys, check it out. It's wet. Still got drips on it, but I'm going to take off the, uh, the tape, let it dry out crazy shit it's supposed to get up to 76 degrees today and then drop back down um i'm gonna take those off let it dry out probably hit it around noon time with the new screws dip screws in the cock and then uh cock up the rails when it's just peeling off the tape i love using uh this tape if it's just temporary you know where i can just um seal it up real quick um versus the blue one like that I left that on there for a while so that my windows don't get messed up. I'm going to just go ahead and clean that down with uh, either mineral spirit or acetone. I'm not sure what I have in stock for today. So, and then I'm going to let it dry out. Got my camera on the tripod on the ladder. Wish I could show you, but anyways, I am going with the, uh, I am going up a size um, to a 12. Uh, the previous one, I believe was a 10, but it's got a little bit of snugger fit. Um, Three quarters stainless steel. So I'm gonna dip it and then I'm gonna plug it. Hopefully I got the camera on the right direction. So I'm just dipping it. I, I cut this a little bit thicker. I mean bigger. I'm using my quad gray. Um, just like that. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna fill and then it's gonna squeeze out. And I'm good with just like that, cause I can come back and clean this with um, some mineral spirit and it cleans up well, but it doesn't take it all off. There you have it. Now, because I cut the tube big, I don't wanna do this yet until the end. And I will use the, the whole tube since I have a lot of holes anyway. Um, but then I'll come back with a different tube. All right, guys. So I'm just cleaning that off there with some uh, mineral spirit. You can see I still have a, a bead there. Now, I don't have to worry about that because I'm uh, when I caulk it, I'll just blend it in. Now, when I was doing these ones, I put a less caulk when I dipped it. And I kind of like this better, actually, because... It almost has a, like a gasket. And since I'm painting over it anyway, I think that's gonna blend in very well. I like that that sealed. So I think I'm gonna do all of them like that. No bag. Going through these real fast. I'm gonna bust open a new tube of cock. Hit that up. Fill in the areas I missed the first time. Hi guys, so when you cut your um, your tube of cock, you want to cut it at an angle, kind of like a 45 degrees. 
that way when you're putting it on when you're dragging it it creates a nice bead and not too much cleanup so there you have it guys I'm gonna wait till that dry so I can cut it down a little bit so this uh, this turned out pretty pretty well all right guys so um hot damn I got me some cock on my lip that's what I get for staring at the, the little camera part okay so um uh, that's all I'm doing for today guys it turned out pretty well um, so that should address my leaks that are coming from the screws that seeps through and um, that the lip area um, this lip area here that was taken in water um, from and I did around the, um, the rail so that will address that so I forgot to tell you um, I had three leak issues when I did my walkthrough um, the screws that it was seeping through the rails it was going underneath the flap and then my light fixture I didn't get to the light fixture today um, I actually need to wait for good weather again because um, once I remove them I have to to uh, seal up the holes and for back here I'm actually gonna go ahead and use fiberglass just because this whole structure back here is fiberglass and uh, Joyce has experience with you uh, working with it so and I want to learn so I want to go ahead and just do that um, we're supposed to get good weather on Saturday, but um, I'm gonna have um, George help me because I'm uh, I'm afraid of heights. Um, you're some gangster, but I'm afraid of heights, bro. Um, so he's gonna help me with that. That way, um, once I do these lights, I can uh, I can start uh, framing and insulation. And man, I forgot my outro. Anyways, um, I hope you guys uh, got some good tips out of the video. Um, be good. Be good to each other. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Your boy's out. Deuces.